What is going on sports fans? My name is Beardman and in this video I will be diving into Character Creator 4 and giving my honest opinion on it as a first time user coming from a Blender background. Hello. The aim of this video is to review the software so you have a better idea on whether you might want to purchase it to assist you with your projects. The journey we will be taking today will be our attempt at creating a spicy, stylized female character. Will it be scary? Will it be awesome? Stay tuned on my journey of the character creator and let's find out. For those of you who don't know what the character creator is, it's a software made by Reillusion and it assists you with the creation of your characters. I have a link in the description of this video which will take you to the software if you want to check it out. Upon opening the software, you are taken to their main menu. You are given a prompt to download some free character assets, so I installed them. These free assets are things varying from eyes to clothes to morphs and additional assets can be purchased online or they can be custom made and imported. I had no issues navigating the content tab and it reminded me a lot of a glorified Sims menu, which is nice. Super easy to understand and use. I began with a default character and could move him around and rotate him easily using the move and rotate tools. Switching between the tools is similar to Blender, so I had no problems. So full of excitement with a template character on screen, I then realized I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. So I decided to boot up YouTube for some tutorials. Tutorials or documentation are pretty much mandatory for learning any software, so there's no reason to hate on the character creator for this. When jumping onto YouTube, I found multiple user-made and Reillusion tutorials, so I dived in on the learning. I was expecting to have to watch a whole heap of tutorials going over every detail of the software, but after watching just one, I came to the realization of just how easy this software was to use. Not only that, but I also realized I've been thinking about Character Creator all wrong. I've been looking at it like another kind of Blender or 3ds Max, where you mash up cubes and move individual vertices. Although the software does offer some vertice control, the software surprised me and actually takes a more pre-built morph approach, where neutral characters can be loaded in and the proportions can be adjusted with sliders. To me, this is game changing. After spending thousands on paying people to make me characters, and after spending countless days playing around with making my own characters, I could now start modeling my characters like something out of the Baldur's Gate character creator. I will not hesitate to end you. So my quest began of me making the spiciest female stylized character that ever existed. I was actually having a lot of fun. It really does feel like a character creator in a game. And as a first time user, I could make any character I wanted. Admittedly, my character ended up looking like some kind of alien serial killer, but I had faith that my beautiful stylized female was just on the horizon once I knew how to turn this realistic look into a more stylized one. To get this beautiful gal back on track, I jumped into some makeup. There were heaps of makeup and skin presets to choose from. I had a lot of fun throwing and trying out some different ones. Okay, so she still looks like a serial killer, but at least now she's dolled up. I threw on some toony eyes onto my girl and did some tweaks and things were slowly but surely shaping up. Next up was to throw on some hair. And there weren't a great deal of preset hairs to choose from, but it's safe to say none of them changed my character into a beautiful anime girl. And it was this point, and I had a hunch from the beginning, that we would have to go to YouTube and Google how to make the character more stylized. After watching a tutorial for a bit, they use a software called ZBrush, which I unfortunately don't own. From what I can see, Character Creator 3 works side by side with ZBrush quite a lot for mesh changing and textures. I found out there are workflows where you can use Blender, so there are other options out there. I downloaded ZBrush and started my 14 day free trial, and this is where I came into the first limitation with the software. I'm not sure you can call it a limitation with Character Creator, as the actual character creating software is super easy to use and navigate. The limitation for a beginner is that if you don't want to pay for additional morphs, hairstyles and outfits, you will need to have an understanding of an additional 3D software. I tried my best to follow the tutorial, but despite my best efforts, the software was just too overwhelming for a first time user. And the tutorial I was following, I presume expect you to have a base understanding of ZBrush. So at this point, I was unable to shape my character to where the character actually looked better. We were still left with the monster. 
I decided to go back to character creator and I found a starting morph which assisted with making a stylized character. Again, brownie points for character creator. This meant I could skip out on the actual mesh changing that would take place in ZBrush as I didn't have the skills for it. This dopamine kick didn't last long however, as the main problem with my character was that the texturing was too realistic. So I was dragged back into the hells of ZBrush. When going back into ZBrush on attempt number two, I was still unable to produce a texture which actually looked good. And we came out with some kind of weird ghost woman girl. And it was at this point where I realized my dream of making my beautiful anime girl would never come true without spending time learning ZBrush or paying for some additional customization options. So I went back to the drawing board and took a step back from my ambitious stylized character and decided to see what I could come up with using just character creator. And after a bit of messing around, we came up with a character I could say I was relatively happy with. And so after one day, we had finished our character. But we're not finished there. I'm a big Unreal Engine programmer, so what was really important to me was how streamlined the export and import over to Unreal was, and I was happy to see it was a smooth process. I was slightly disappointed that the skeleton hierarchy was too different from the Unreal Engine mannequin skeleton, so I couldn't import the character directly onto the skeleton and use the pre-setup animations. That would have just been some bonus points. With Unreal Engine's retargeting system, converting these animations would be no problem. So, what should you take away from this experience? Firstly, that character creator is insanely awesome and Reolution are out here changing the game on making characters. For me to just be able to create a fully fleshed out character in one day of using the software is absolutely insane. Professional high poly characters can cost anywhere upwards of $1000 to be made and this could take anywhere up to a month. Secondly, that when it comes to creating your character, you have two options. The first is to develop skills in an additional 3D modeling software such as Blender, ZBrush to really add some fine details to your characters and to make additional morphs, hairstyles, textures, etc. Or the second is to whip out the wallet and purchase additional customization options off the Reillusion website. And although the second option doesn't sound too fun spending more money, you might spend $100 on some customization options to make your dream character rather than paying a professional maybe 10 times this to make one for you. Overall, this software has my beard game stamp of approval. If you need to create characters, I would highly recommend giving the software a try. With how much time and money the pre-setup characters and morph save you in the long run, it really is a no-brainer. Get the software, learn the workflows, and bash out characters like there's no tomorrow. So, there is our character creator. Again, there is a link in the description if you're looking to purchase the software. It costs $300. And if you like spending money, I would definitely recommend checking out my marketplace asset, which has everything you need to create your first game in Unreal Engine. And of course, I have a tutorial on my page with steps on how you can import your character creator characters into the system. I've been your host, Beard Games. Thank you for watching, live your best lives, and have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one.